Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. I appreciate you stopping by. Today's beer comes from Treehouse Brewing, and guys, I'm a big fan of that brewery. But this is, uh, this beer is called Old Man. And what it is, it's a extra special slash strong bitter ESB. I don't buy a lot of these beers. They are not my cup of tea. Uh, there are a lot of people that absolutely love these, these styles of beers. Uh, this is a fairly low uh, ABV 5.4%. Uh, I don't, and again, I don't usually buy beers in that low of an ABV, also. So, uh, two strikes uh, uh, there, if you will. I'm sure this is probably going to be a very tasty beer. This was sent to me uh, by Greg, and uh, the note that he wrote here says, Old Man from Treehouse. And he says, As we discussed, uh, extra special bitters aren't our preferred style, so he knows it's not something that I would probably buy for myself. But uh, since it's from Treehouse, uh, and he uh, was uh, uh, a uh, able to uh, get his hands on this through uh, his brother, he says, uh, but as beer guys, we shouldn't limit ourselves to a couple of styles of beer, but explore many. That's why I review all kind of different stuff. But uh, as far as what my go-to beer is, this would probably not fit into that category. Uh, he says you have this, this one thanks to his brother Adam. So Adam, thanks uh, my brother, uh, my, uh, my brother from another mother. Uh, I do appreciate you picking us up, Adam, and getting it to your brother Greg so he could get it to me. So let's get on with this one, the uh, first beer of the day today. Uh, Today is Father's Day. This is uh, uh, the 17th of June, so happy Father's Day to everybody. By the time you see this, uh, Father's Day will have passed. I'm about a month out, guys, so uh, uh, got a few beers waiting in the pike to get uh, uh, to get turned loose to the public, so I'm that far ahead with all the beer, wonderful beers that you wonderful people and subscribers send to me. So, uh, I am going to read to you here what... Uh, and, and, and give you another reason why I'm doing this beer today. Uh, the commercial description here on um, Beer Advocate says, Our classic English-style bitter returns to pay homage to a great man, an integral part of the Treehouse team, Nate's father, Dan. Dan has, been, Dan has spent his work retirement assisting Treehouse on the canning line and in many other ways, both physically and spiritually. This beer is a homage and a thanks to a great man and more broadly to fathers everywhere. Thanks. So that's the reason I'm doing this today. They created this in, in, uh, in Dan's uh, honor, I guess. And, they're, and like I said, uh, thanks to fathers everywhere. So happy Father's Day to everybody out there, all the fathers. Uh, says here, don't be fooled by the name. Our interpretation of an extra better, special bitter carries light bitterness and gentle, earthy, noble hop character from Fuggles hops. The hops are balanced by uh, airy fruitiness and rich base of flavors, smoking caramel malts, brown sugar, or hazelnut. It is wonderful and simple beer we find best paired with fish and chips, smoked meat, roasted chicken, or ideally a day on the river. So. That's the reason why I'm doing this today. Uh, seemed like a great Father's Day beer to pay homage uh, to the fathers out there, and especially to Dan. Uh, uh, 
We appreciate everything that comes out of Treehouse that I can get my hands on that is sent to me uh, by either Adam or Virginia or Greg or, 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 or many other people that send me beers. So let's get on with this one here, guys. We've read you the commercial description. Uh, the ABV is very low at 5.4% and uh, don't have the IBUs listed here. So it is time. Let's do it. Big 16 ounce can with a uh, wrap around stick on label which is where the way I think they should be done instead of printing up a bunch of high dollar fancy cans just concentrate on making a good beer and putting it inside all right yeah very caramelly colored coming out if I can get the laptop to stay on here food pairing cuisine is barbecue cheese of the earthy brie gouda habardi swiss your nutty cheeses asiago colby parmesan meat pork and game glass wire to pint back or nonic tumbler mug stein sidel i'm using my favorite tulip glass today and not recommended for extended salary because it's a fairly low abv beer and it does have a date on the bottom of it guys it says 050318 so it's about six weeks in the can here the old man knows very well is what it says above the date so Respect your elders, respect your parents, respect authority. It's got me along uh, this far in life, so uh, I'm a firm believer of that. All right, guys, it's got a nice brown caramel copper color. Uh, it's not quite clear through the big ball part. I can see some light through the thin part of the glass here. It looks very, very nice. So let's get a nose on it. And that's exactly what I'm getting uh, on the nose is basically what the commercial description was saying. Nice caramel malts. Slight hint of some nuttiness in there. Maybe some caramel toffee. Slight hint of some nuttiness going on. Smells very pleasant. A very low ABV, very sessionable beer and not a hot forward beer, which is what this... Uh, brewery is basically known for they do do some dark beers that are tasty but their ipas and double ipas and the new england style, new england style are awesome so wonderful aroma first beer of the day like i said let's dive in cheers everybody cheers adam cheers greg yep Caramelized malt, some nuttiness there, some brown sugar, caramel and toffee. Very tasty. Not bitter at all. Very smooth, very easy drinking. Well, I'm going to dump in the back end here before I go off camera. And we're going to sip on this for a little while, let her taste it. We'll come back and do the final chug and see where it ends up on the grade scale, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little bit left here. I mean, to me, guys, it fits the style perfectly. Uh, nice caramel notes, caramel malty, malt notes, uh, toffee, brown sugar, hint of some nuts hazelnuts I mean ideally uh, perfect for the style uh, not my style but uh, I can see why a lot of people like this very very easy drinking very smooth and with the noble hops and when I say noble hops that's European style hops usually Kent Golding, Saz, Tectonang uh, the hops that are grown over across the pond final chug A very tasty, uh, easy drinking beer, guys. Uh, not hop forward whatsoever. So if you're not a big, super hot fan, this would probably be a really good one to give it a try. It's not going to have that same grassy, grainy taste that you're going to get from the macro lager. So I don't know if this would be a good one to get off of those into this because of it. Uh, but it's still a very tasty a good example of the style and i'm not surprised with treehouse doing it uh so uh, guys for me i'm gonna give this uh a minus eight in the scale 90 
Uh, over to Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says 3.86 in the very good range. That's in their B plus range. Uh, it's got the ABB on the can. It's got the date on the can, on the bottom of the can. So uh, I'm going to give it what I'm giving it there, guys. I think it's uh, right in the bottom of the A category. And over to Untap, they have it at 3.76. <clears throat> also in their B plus range. So I'm giving him. I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt because the information they're giving us and what's in the in the can itself. Uh, are there better ones out there? Probably so, but I do think this is a very well done beer, uh, and I'd expect no less from the guy the guys there at Treehouse. So, if you've had this one from Treehouse Brewing, this is their old man. Uh, let me know what you think. Until we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge. Happy Father's Day. <laughs>